What if the world actually had an HIV vaccine? Would that change the way you live your life? Probably yes. Now, if all goes well, Uganda could be in the advanced stages of finding what could be the future HIV vaccine. This is an important trial uh, which is combined testing for an HIV vaccine but also testing uh, two ways of preventing uh, 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 HIV using oral PrEP, uh, comparing using a drug called Truvada and another drug called Doscovid. We have conducted many other trials in Uganda in, and in the region, but those have been smaller uh, trials in phase one or phase two. But this is the first in East Africa to a large trial of HIV uh, that will try to see whether this vaccine uh, that we're going to use will be able uh, to prevent uh, uh, HIV. The trial will be conducted in four African countries, including Tanzania, Mozambique, South Africa, and Uganda as the lead. The trial uh, is taking place in Masaka, and yesterday our first two volunteers were vaccinated. Uh, a total number of about 1,668 uh, individuals, but these will be randomized or uh, followed in two major groups. One group will receive a combination of vaccines, yeah, uh, uh, called a DNA uh, plus a GP140, uh, followed by uh, MVA at different uh, weeks, and another one, a DNA and a, a, a 120, so oh. three groups, and each group has about 556. And these will come from different countries. Uh, this may be the, maybe the, the seventh uh, uh, vaccine to, uh, to reach uh, uh, this stage. So it's an important uh, study for us. Professor Pontiano Kalebu, the executive director at the Uganda Virus Research Institute, explains further the considerations for the participants. These are individuals who we have been talking to, we have counseled them, they have given the consent uh, to participate in this trial. Uh, they are adults, 18 years to 40 years, um, who uh, uh, will be provided all the information to prevent HIV infection. Uh, they are in the areas for Uganda, in the areas of uh, uh, Masaka. Uh, but as you know, in spite of this, that we're going to give them all uh, the prevention, condoms, offer circumcision, some of them may get infected naturally. Uh, so the way we'll test the vaccine is to compare how many people get infected among those who get the vaccine, among those who get the oral PrEP, and among those who don't get uh, the vaccine. For years on end, HIV vaccine development has not yielded the desired results. But Professor Kalebu says any result from this one is a step further to the target. There is only one trial that took place in Thailand. Uh, they call, we call it RV144, where they showed some modest protection of about 31%. And many of the studies, the trials that followed, were trying to see, uh, imitate what was in Thailand and improve. In fact, even our trial has some components of that vaccine that was used in Thailand and also using uh, the same approach, although it's been improved on. So in case the vaccine prevents against HIV infection, we shall be excited. But even if it doesn't protect, many times we say, there's no trial that is a failure. Still, we learn. The science we learn allows us to improve and to have uh, better vaccines. But also, because we're testing uh, oral PrEP, it may also show us that another drug uh, called Descopy can also prevent HIV infection uh, while, when taken orally. The African region had 25.7 million people living with HIV by 2018 and registered 1.1 million new infections in the same year. 470,000 people died from the disease. However, recent statistics show an improved trend towards achieving the global 1990-90 targets. Walter Mwesije, NTV.